Downloading the fonts is pretty simple. You can start by first using the top menu where you can categorize and filter the fonts. Uh, most likely you'll be working with script fonts. So if you click there, you'll be able to filter all the fonts and show the ones that are under that category. If you're interested in dingbats, which are basically icons that come up when you click on the keyboard letters, you can check those as well by clicking on that category. One thing I wanted to mention is that dafon.com has fonts that you can use for commercial and personal purpose. But if you use, if you check the information here on the frequently asked questions, you will see that the information that is provided above the download button is just an indication. So you have to check the author information. Go back to the website, click on the font that you like, and then you'll be able to read some information about the author, see the letters that are provided to you and then also all the characters and you will notice too that there are some numbers on top of the characters. Those are the shortcuts that you can click by pressing the alt key and the number that is indicated there and that will bring up the character that is shown there. There's another way to find all the characters, um, decorative items and swirls and things like that using the character map on your Windows computer or using the font book in your Mac computer. So how to download the font? If you go up here and click on the download button on the right, you'll be able to see that the folder is downloaded down here and on the bottom left. If you click there and then click open, you'll be able to open the folder. As you can see, the folder is a compressed, it's compressed, all the files are compressed inside there. So you won't be able to install the files. You need to extract them before you install them. Otherwise, the installation will be not will not be correct. So click on extract extract all and then find the folder that you want to save it and then click on extract. As you can see, the files are no longer compressed. And now when you click on the file, you'll be able to see the sample of the font on the right. So you can go ahead and uh, see that. And also there is a text file here that shows the information about the author and then some information about the license. So that's exactly what that font.com indicated in here, that you should look at the readme files or are, that come with your font when you download them. Remember, you can also contact the author directly if you have questions. It can be sometimes a little bit painful. So let me know if you want a video about other websites where you can find free fonts for commercial use. So going back here to the file, I'm going to right click and click on install. This window will pop up and it will just disappear. That just means that the, that the fonts were installed. So you can optionally check if the font was installed in your computer by going to character map or font book in your Mac computer. Finding the font in Cricut Design Space. So if you have Cricut Design Space open when you downloaded the font, you won't be able to find it. For, for example, I had it open, so when I look for the font under my system fonts, I'm not going, I'm not finding it, right? So what I need to do is close Cricut Design Space and open it again. So I'm going to close and open it again. I type my text and then I'm going to open here, expand the fonts menu. Go to system fonts to help me find the font faster. And then you just need to type a few letters of the name. And then as you can see, Snowy Night, which is the font that I just downloaded, it's in there. Now, a quick tip too is that if you want to preview the font before you install it, you can do that. So for example, if I type here under in a scraft, click enter or submit, you'll be able to see the sample of the font before you submit. And sometimes that's helpful to see how the letters look. Finding fonts for commercial use is pretty simple. You can use the more options filter that is located here. Click on 100% free, which technically means that it's free for personal and commercial use. So if you select that option and click enter or submit, then you'll be able to see all the fonts that are under that category. But remember, it doesn't mean that the fonts are truly 100% free for commercial purpose. So you always have to check the information that is provided by the author or contact the author directly with the information that is provided here.